Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to configure Terraform within Azure Cloud Shell. So to start with, we have two files that we're going to upload to our Cloud Shell. The first one is called TerraEnv.sh. This is a bash script and this contains the variables that we'll be using for Terraform. So we're going to have the subscription ID, client ID, client secret and tenant ID. So we need this for Terraform to authenticate to Azure. We'll also be uploading a simple script which will create a resource group using Terraform. So if we switch over to our Cloud Shell in the Azure console, we can now upload our files. So if we click on Upload and we'll select both files, we'll just check that they're there and they are good. So the next step is we need to make Bash script which contains our variables executable so that we can add these as environment variables within the shell. So we use chmod to give terraenv.sh the executable permission. If we do a directory listing, you'll now see that it has x for executable. So now to add these as variables, we use the command source and then our bash script. So to check that they've actually loaded up correctly, we can search the exported variables using grep. And there you'll see that we have the variables needed for authenticating with Azure. So we have the ARM client ID, which is the application ID from your service principal. And we have the ARM client secret, which is the key you created when you created your service principal. And then you have your Azure subscription ID and also your tenant ID. So now that's loaded. The next step is to test this is working uh, so we can paste in our first command, so we'll initialize the Terraform environment. So now that's initialized, we can run the command Terraform plan. So this will confirm with Azure exactly what we're going to implement here. And now we're happy with that, so we will use Terraform apply. We'll reply yes. And that is the apply complete, and we've had that resource group added. So if we have a look in our Azure console and we do a refresh, and there you'll see our test resource group has been created. Thank you for watching this video.